Hi guys, welcome to a new series on deploying a Django app on AWS Cloud. In this part, we are going to create a EC2 instance for our application. If you don't have a AWS account, then create one and log in to AWS. After logging to AWS, click on the services on the navbar and under compute domain of AWS services, click on the EC2 services. It will redirect you to the EC2 dashboard. Under the resources, you can see all the information about the EC2 instances. If you have no instances, then all the value will be zero. Now, to create an instance, you have to click on launch instance under the create instance section. On clicking, it will request you to finish some setup steps for your instance like below. First, choose Amazon Machine Image AMI. In this step, you should choose the image you want your instance will be. An image is simply an operating system image with minimal tools installation like Ubuntu or Windows. So that you can use a fresh setup. Choose any OS appropriate for you. For our case, we want to use Ubuntu OS, so we will select Ubuntu 18.0. 04. Next step, choose an instance type. As for your requirement, you can choose your required instance type from the various instance family. If you need more computing power, you can go with instances with higher specifications. For our case, we are going to use the free tier service. So we will go with t2.micro. It's Performance is good in future. If you want to change the instance specification, you can do that as well. After selecting the instance type, click on review and launch. Next step, edit security group. As we want our instance to communicate with HTTP protocol, we have to give the permission in security groups for that. Under security groups, click on edit security groups. Now you will see there will be only SSH protocol is available because you have to take the remote using SSH. Now click on add rule and select type as HTTP and change the source as anywhere. Next click on review and launch. A next step launch instance now review all the instances specification and click on launch next step select unkey pair so what is a key pair a key pair consists of a public key that aws stores and a private key that you store together they allow you to connect to your instance securely here you can choose your existing key pair if available or you can create a new key pair. We are going to create a new key pair. So click on the drop down and create new key pair. Enter the name you want to give to your key pair and download the key pair. Note, keep this key pair securely. If you miss the key pair, you can't access your instance in future. Finally, click on launch instances. Wait for some time, it will show you confirmation page of your instance creation. You can view all your instances by clicking on view instances. As you can see, there will be your instances which will be initializing. This is the end of instance creation process. Now you can give a name of to your instance if you want to. Next step, connect to an EC2 instance. We have created our instance. Now we have to take the instance on remote and make the environment ready for the deployment. For that, we need to connect to the instance. For connecting to the instance, just choose on the instance on the instance list and click on the connect button on the top of the instance list. It will show you the steps how you can connect to your instance. Note, in my case, I am using a Linux, so I can directly access SSH client. But if you have a Windows, then you can connect using PuTTY or other SSH providers. 
so how to connect to the instance first step locate your private key files and open ssh terminal there next step change the access mode of the key your key must not be publicly viewable for ssh to work so change the access mode of the key by using the following command chmod 400 key name dot pay note change the key name with your key name next step connect to your instance using its public dns now copy the command from the example and paste it on your terminal and hit enter for the first time it will ask you for permission to connect so type yes and hit enter after successful connection you will see your terminal will change to the ip of your instance and if you want to exit from the terminal then you can by using the exit command thank you for watching this video tell me how this video is helping you on the comment section if you find this video is helpful then give a like and subscribe to this channel so that next time a new video come you will get notified